Have you ever wondered how you should be restoring the undercarriage on your ride and don't know where to start? Well, guess what? Today I'll be showing you guys how you guys should be restoring your undercarriage for the upcoming winter with zero running water. Anyways guys, let me get this wheel off and we'll get right into the video. Now when it comes to cleaning your undercarriage, you actually need to constantly clean it because this fender wheel or this plastic piece that this Subaru has, over time, this owner likes to go off and he likes to go rock climbing. Let me just give you guys a quick backstory. But then all this filth and grime just sit on here and over the time, it start, actually starts diminishing the look of your uh, undercarriage, especially if you have an off-road vehicle or you have a lowered vehicle. You still need to constantly clean it. Even though it's not looked at, get into the minor details and clean it all up. Luckily today, I'm not going to be using any type of running water because we're gonna be introducing you guys to our brand new Mr. Sprayer Foamer. Now, Mr. Sprayer Foamer was a highly requested item from you guys and we listened to you guys. So whenever you guys want a product, just drop a comment down below. So. I already went ahead and pre-filled it with water and this is a foaming automizer. So you obviously you need to pump it. There is a pressure release valve. So once or, whenever you're done using it, just release it, leave no pressure inside. It also comes with an extra filter. So if you do need an extra filter, just pop off this cap. The filter is right here, but in this occasion, it already comes with a filter on it. So I'm not going to be using it. Now, what product can I actually use? Mr. Sprayer Foamer. It's very simple and easy to use. Uh, you could be using like an all-purpose cleaner. Like today, I will be using Nonsense Super Cleaner to clean up this uh, undercarriage. You could also be using like a um, leather cleaner, a foaming fabric clean inside here. And like that, it's going to allow you to get a uh, foaming action on whatever type of surface you are using. So I do have a Nonsense Gallon. I'll just pop this open and I'll be pouring about like one to two ounces. But one of my favorite things is that this neck is very wide, so there will be no spills happening. Then I'm just pour it. And it also has metering tips on the back, so it knows exactly how, mu how much I'm going to be diluting it. Put it up to right there. Put this off to the side. Put this back on. Mr. Sprayer Foamer. Spin it back. And before I do anything else, same thing as a foam cannon, do not shake it, just stir it, get the product mixed in with the water. And one key factor for you guys I do want to show you guys is at on the back, there's a max fill. Do not go past that, just go up to that and then start pumping, so. Now you can go to a surface that you want to foam up and you will start foaming. And you guys can see how Nonsense Super Cleaner lathers up this uh, undercarriage. Uh, if you do need to pump it up more, Feel free to pump it up more. What I'm actually going to do is actually going to foam up everything and then I'm gonna start scrubbing it down using different types of brushes. But you guys can see how Mr. Freer Foamer allows you to get into all the nooks and crannies that you actually want to foam. All right. So now that we went ahead and foamed up the undercarriage, next up is just grabbing a, a brush. I already pre-soaked it with some type of water, but I already have some type of lubrication on it. So I'm just gonna grab my brush and I'm going to start scrubbing the undercarriage. Now, if I do need more lather, I'll get Mr. Sprayer Foamer and re-lather up the surface. But in this occasion, Mr. Sprayer Foamer did an amazing job at foaming up the undercarriage. So I don't, I don't think so, but if I do need more, I will spray more on the undercarriage. I'm definitely going to have to scrub more back here and get a little bit more lather on it because this car has some type of filth and grime and you guys can see how it looks. But here's a pro tip for you guys. If you guys are working on a, in a garage or outside, make sure to put some uh, cardboard down so you won't have leaking all over the place. You keep everything in a controlled area. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and re-sprayed this area because like I mentioned before, this car does have mud on it, some type of mud right there. So I need to uh, keep saturating this area and keep scrubbing it. 
But here's a cool thing about what, what happens whenever you clean your undercarriage, especially you have a lifted truck. All the nooks and crannies, all the details on your detail uh, on your car are going to be uh, clean, squeaky, squeaky clean, and your fender wells are not going to be causing any type of attraction because your fender wells are actually going to be getting uh, it some type of protections for the upcoming winters. Obviously, the East Coast side gets uh, salt on the roads, and you want to keep all that away from your undercarriage and keep it from rusting. So that's why we recommend cleaning your undercarriage. Next up, we'll be cleaning up the suspension. And with that, I'll be using a boar's hair detailing brush. Come in here and start getting in the nooks and crannies so I can make sure I get everything on this undercarriage. Now that I went ahead and scrubbed everything on the undercarriage, now it's just time to inspect my work. So if I actually turn around, get a clean microfiber towel, I'll remove the tag. Now I'm gonna just start off by wiping down the whole entire surface and inspecting my work. And if I do need to, I will go back to get everything else, but this is just going to be the first pass. And I always like to do multiple passes if needed on the undercarriage, just because I want to ensure I get everything away from the, uh, from the undercarriage. And you guys can see there's filth and grime coming off onto my towel. So now imagine all of this is just embedding itself into the plastic. And if you have not encountered this on your car, but on, uh, on a car that obviously gets saw, gets a lot of UV rays, over time your plastic are just going to turn dull and unfortunately they won't be able to come back. And this is a newer car, this is not like a 2005 or early 2000s car, this is a much newer car, so protect your investment, keep everything clean, so like this, whether you go off-roading, you have it parked, or you're on the highway, your whole entire car stays clean and it doesn't deteriorate over time. So, all I need to do is just keep wiping it down. And before I forget, Nonsense Super Cleaner is just going to clean the surface. It's not going to protect it. This is just strictly a cleaner. If you still want to protect your undercarriage, don't worry. I'll be showing you guys how fast, fun, and simple it is to clean your undercarriage. But first, I just need to take care of getting rid of all this foam using a soft micro rubber towel. Check out all this filth. <laughs> All right, so now that I went ahead and wiped, wiped all this surface down, this is now clean, this is not dirty, there's no more filth and grime coming off of it. It just doesn't look protected, and that's what a dressing's designed for. But one thing I actually did forget to clean is this right here. So I will respray it, re-foam it up using Mr. Frayer Foamer, and then scrub it out. especially for anyone that has Brembo brakes and a uh, big brake kit on their car, you always know that this is going to be a, like an eye catcher on those types of brakes. So if you do have big brake kit, always be sure to clean this. So whenever your Brembo brakes or Wilbur brakes have a big caliper, they're always going to be shining and staying shiny. Let me get my last towel, remove the tag, and just remove all the foam away from here.
All right, guys, so we just finished scrubbing everything. I did a secondary pass. I took care of the caliper, the rotor. This is as best as it's gonna get because obviously these are just completely stock. If they were Brembo, they were painted, you'll see a bigger transformation. But today we're focusing on more of the undercarriage of suspension and how do we protect it going into these winters. So now the next step is going to be dressing it up with our protectant or undercarriage protectant, which is, which is called a bare bones. Now bare bones is an oil-based dressing that is not going to come off whenever it comes in contact with water, morning dew, mud, or if you do go off-roading, it's actually going to help you protect it, and like this, cleaning is a lot easier. So all you want to do is get a microfiber applicator, put it on spray. Now there's two different types of methods you could do. One, you could spray directly onto the surface, such as, hold on, let me just get my spray out. Spray it, and then scrub it, or work it in, or you could spray it directly onto your applicator. So there's going to be two different types of applications. In this occasion, we have the wheel completely off, so I could do either or, and like this, I get it in all the nooks and crannies. Obviously, there are going to be some areas where unfortunately, my hand does not fit. So that's when I'll get the sprayer here and spray it directly onto the surface. Now, bare bones is designed to protect your undercarriage from fading, from rusting, from uh, turning dull over time. So like this, your fender wells, your suspension, everything under here, is looks factory. Because if you ever look at a factory car, or if you guys have ever been at a dealership, their whole undercarriage looks protected. And that is because they have some type of protectant and the undercarriage from the factory comes protected, but over time it just wears off because you don't clean it constantly or you go off-roading and that's what ends up happening. Uh, I will spray it directly onto it, spray some onto my applicator. Now I'll just go back and just work it in. Now like this, whenever this owner of this Subaru well, Subawu goes off-roading, they know their undercarriage is protected, protected, and mud and filth and grime, even though it st still sits on it, it's not going to embed itself or damage the undercarriage. And I like to use a microfiber applicator on the undercarriage just because the microfiber applicator contours the area that I'm actually working on, and you could also use it on suspension, you can use it everywhere to protect your entire undercarriage. And wow, this undercarriage on this Subaru is coming back to life. Let me just finish dressing up this whole entire undercarriage and then I'll show you guys the finishing result I achieved using bare bone. And there you guys have it. You guys can see that I went ahead and transformed the undercarriage on this Subaru using Mr. Sperry Foamer. Nonsense and bare bones protected. So guys, if you guys would like to pick up any of these products that I use in today's video, you guys already know where to find them at chemicalguys.com or drive down to your local detail garage. As always, we'll see you guys next time here at Chemical Guys.